so long since we talked about books. Hey besties, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video, another book vlog for you, bookstore vlog and haul, of course. And I have to start this one by saying thank you for watching my last bookstore video. I was not expecting the response that it got. Of course, it motivated me to film another one for you guys, but I wanted to make it something a little bit different, but still have the same sort of vibe as the last one. So this bookstore video is a nighttime edition. So I went um, around like seven o'clock to Barnes & Noble. Love Barnes & Noble at night, such a vibe. So quiet in there, so calm. If you're new here, my name is Ariana and I always make vlogs, but sometimes I make specific vlogs about books and reading vlogs. Basically the way it works is I start with this little intro clip where I say, hey, what's up, how are you? Hope you're doing well. And then we go over and we do some book shopping and then we come back and we talk about the books that we got. I actually went to Barnes & Noble and Target. I picked up, I think, five books at Barnes & Noble and one book at Target. So pretty successful day in terms of book shopping and I'm very excited to talk about the books that I got. Very excited to read the books that I got. Just all around, feeling good. Great night, 10 out of 10. Let's, let's go book shopping. And I'll see you guys when you get back. I hope you have a good time. I had a great time, so I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did. See you in a bit. Barnes, late night, bookstore, vlog. Yeah! Um, I'm meeting my friend there, so it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a cozy time. Per usual, and yeah, let's go to Barnes! <laughs> a classic Barnes bag and then we have a Target bag but 
the bulk of this is a blanket that I bought for my room. There, I only bought one book at Target, so I'll come back. I hope you had a great time. I had a lovely time at Barnes tonight. It's just so cute. Barnes is so cute. It's, it really is for the experience, and it's like healing for me to just go to Barnes & Noble. And today, I tried to just take time and like, just if a cover sparked my interest, pick it up and read the back. You know what I mean? And I found like one or two because of that, which I was happy about. You know, you guys know me. I, if you've been, if you've seen one of these videos before, I like to branch out on these trips to Barnes because why not? They have every book ever. Like what? Hey, you know? Anyways. So we have six books total today in our little haul. If you're not new to this channel, this is not a surprise. If you're not new to me, honestly, because I've been talking about these books on YouTube, Instagram, I'm just beyond obsessed. I literally walked into Barnes & Noble and ran to where this book is because I find I'm on the third one. I finished the second one and here we are. So I think I was, I think I bought the second one in my last book video on my reading vlog, right? My reading vlog was me reading the first one and then I went and bought the second one at the end of it. Right. I'm on the third one. If you don't know, this is The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Right? Did I say that? Yeah. Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, it's the third book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. New favorite series. Absolutely love it. Given the first one and two, I've given both one and two five stars obsessed cannot wait to read this all my current reads right now are getting shelved and i am reading this tonight hands down i am so excited of course this is a new release so it is only available in hardcover right now the paperback is like pre-orders for next year so my other two copies are paperback and this is really like uh it's it's well, it's bothering me a little bit but it's gonna be worth it because i need to finish this book i'm so excited um, there's not really a synopsis, it's the third one in the series, so go back and watch my other videos if you're curi curious about what these books are about. Just know that these are my new favorite books and I highly, highly, highly recommend the series. If you watched my last bookstore vlog, I showed two books while I was in Barnes & Noble and said that I was very intrigued by the both of them and I asked people to recommend them to me or let me know if they read them in the comments and let me know if they would recommend them and it was the song of achilles and we are villains i believe for the two books that i showed guys so many comments of people saying they read both of those books um and that they highly recommend both of them but this one had like the most response in the comments of that video i was like i have to read this like I can't I can't not it's been so highly recommended to me now that I asked so many of you have read this and so many of you said you loved it and it was like one of your favorite reads which I've heard from other people before so that which is it's why I was intrigued by this book um but I'm really really excited to read this I'm very very excited to read this um it's like a little bit of Greek mythology it's 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 I'm excited to read this. I don't know, just the overwhelming response of everyone in the comments in my last video, I was like, how can I not? I would read the synopsis, but I really don't feel like embarrassing myself right now and trying to read the Greek names on the back. Yeah, you all recommended this to me, so I'm assuming you already read this. If you haven't, pick it up. Let's read it together. I've heard so many people say like you think it's one thing and it's so much more and that's what I'm excited. I love, love, love when I think I'm expecting something in a book and it's just like no girl no. It's so much more than that. A little different something that um this was the book that I picked up that just the cover sort of like grabbed my attention and then I read the bag and I was like I actually find that quite interesting. So it is Tokyo Ever After by Emiko Jean. Beautiful cover. Look at the colors on this cover. This is what got me. I didn't even like see the title because it's in quite like a minimal font, but the cover of this book, I don't know. It just grabbed me. So I'm gonna read the back of this one because I actually found it really interesting and I feel like some other people might agree. So 
here we go. It isn't easy being Japanese American in a small, mostly white Northern California town. Yeah, predominantly white towns are rough. Izumi or is can I speak? Do you think I can? I don't know, it's pretty late. It's pre this is a late night edition, so bear with me on the talking part. Izumi or Izzy because it's easier that way. Mm -hmm has always felt it's been her and her mom against the world, but when she discovers a clue to her previous unknown father's identity, he's none other than the crown prince of Japan. Like what? Which means outspoken, Izzy is literally a princess. In a whirlwind, Izumi travels to Japan to meet the father she's never known and discover the country she's always dreamed of. But being a princess isn't all ball gowns and tiaras. There are conniving cousins, a hungry press, a scowling but handsome bodyguard who just may be her soulmate, and thousands of years of traditions and customs to learn practically overnight. You got me there, girl. Izumi soon finds herself caught between worlds and between versions of herself. Will Izumi crumble under the weight of the crown or will she live out her fairy tale happily ever after? This quote on the back from a journalist from Entertainment Weekly, I guess, says, If the Princess Diaries met crazy rich Asians, you would get close to the wonderfully chaotic splendor of Tokyo ever after. I'm intrigued. I can't wait. Like, I'm really excited about that. Next book I got is Twisted Love. Um, I've seen so many people read this series. You guys know, I've said this before, I am a series girl. I love I love a good series. Four though is like my max for now. When I was younger, I used to read book like see if a, if a series had like ten books in it, I was there. But now like I can't commit some more because there's so many books in my TBR. It's like I don't have time, you know. But like the Inheritance Games, a trilogy. Ooh, love a good trilogy. Let's read the back. Alex Volkov is a devil blessed with the face of an angel and cursed with a past he can't escape. Driven by a tragedy that has haunted him for most of his life, his ruthless pursuits of success and vengeance leave little room for matters of the heart, but when he's forced to look after his best friend's sister, he starts to feel something in his chest, a crack, a melt, a fire that could end his world as he knew it. Girl. Ava Chen is a free spirit trapped by nightmares of a childhood she can't remember. But despite her broken past, she's never stopped seeing the beauty in the world, including the heart beneath the icy exterior of a man she shouldn't want. Her brother's best friend, her neighbor, her savior, and her downfall. Theirs is a love that was never supposed to happen, but when it does, it unleashes secrets that could that could destroy them both and everything they hold dear. Twisted love. Next book in this haul is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Very excited about this. This is like a cutesy little romance read. I needed one. I always do. I have to. Like I can't go book shopping and not pick up a book with like this kind of vibe. You know, because they're just fun. They're usually quick reads. And sometimes you just want this like in the middle of reading like some other types of books. You know, you just want a little cute, lighthearted little romance. And that's what it this is. I feel like a lot of people have read this so I'm just gonna give the general idea. I've heard it's friends to lovers, um, it like goes back and forth from then and now. It's just a cute cozy little romance read which I was kind of looking for something. I've heard a lot of people describe this as just like a lot of people had this in their like fall TBRs or like fall book recommendation videos and because it had like cozy vibes I guess a lot of people were saying and I was kind of looking for that since it's getting colder where I am now. So yeah and the cover is so cute. I don't know right something about this cover like i feel like this is like a book like a teacher would like have on their desk in like the best way possible like a really cool teacher you know what i mean and the last book that i got was actually from target it is the cruel prince as you can see i have the miss 20 percent off sticker this was a steal it was like eight bucks and honestly i looked at it in barnes and noble but i put it down i was like eh, i don't know like i'm not gonna get it yet then I saw it at Target and it was obviously significantly cheaper than the one at Barnes & Noble so I was like well okay but I'm actually really intrigued by this book I think the cover is so cool I've seen this on TikTok a ton 
um, and it kind of sounds like it's right up my alley. I love books with this sort of vibe, so I'm gonna read the back because it's super short. Jude was seven when her parents were murdered, and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of fairy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Ten years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the Fae despise humans, especially Prince Candon, the youngest and wickedest son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. From the num number one New York Times best-selling author, Holly Black comes the first book in a stunning trilogy. Man, I really, I said I'm a serious girl. A stunning trilogy filled with twist and enchantment as one girl lean, as one girl learns the meaning of true power. How could I not? Excited, very excited about that. Stoked that I got it for so cheap at Target. Luckily, they didn't target my Target, at least the Target that I went to. Out of all the books that I got, the only one they had was The Final Gambit, and of course that was cheaper than the one that I bought at Barnes & Noble, but like, it's totally fine, because like, the whole point of me going to Barnes & Noble was to get The Final Gambit, and I also didn't know that I was going to be going to Target until I was, my friend and I left Barnes & Noble, and we were in the parking lot, and we were like, should we go to Target? Yeah, let's go to Target. So, no regrets, but very excited that I got this for such a steal. We love a steal on books. Obviously Target has their like two, buy two, get one or whatever, but there was nothing else that really interests me and I had already bought five books. So I was like, girl, chill out. That's our little book haul. Um, I am really excited about this one. Obviously, I'm going to be starting with The Final Gambit, which I'm going to read tonight. I'll take you guys along with me to start that as we always do in these videos. But yeah, I'm really excited about this little haul so fun Yay. okay let's read i kind of like spent through that because i really want to get to this book but you guys understand you you get it right it's time to read oh my gosh i'm so excited Thank you. 